Hey, good morning everyone. Uh, it's like 5.40 in the morning and I just got up. Um, yes, these are my jammies. I think they're pretty awesome. The Team USA. Let's see if we can give you a better look. Jammies, they're awesome. So it's like cute little jumpsuit. It says USA on the back. You can't get better than that. I can actually go out in public in this. Perfectly fine. Don't judge. Anyways, so I'm up this mo morning at my usual time. Um, one of the first things that I do is measure my blood ketones and glucose. And those give me a very definite idea of whether I'm in ketosis or not. So it gives me another idea. And that is how successful am I? being on this diet because if I'm not being successful then I'm wasting my time and I'll find something else. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here and this is all out of um, the book Keto Clarity by Jimmy Moore. Uh, all his suggestions and they made sense to me so I went ahead and bought, let me show you what I got here. So what we have here is a meter that will measure my ketones and this is a glucometer uh, little test strips pretty simple you just put them in the end little white part shows that's where the blood will go if you're squeamish you probably are not going to want to watch this so this is the part that freaks everyone out at least it freaked me out um there's a little needle apparatus that you use one a fresh one every day you never reuse and there's a little twist off thing on the top that I've already taken off and you just load that in to there it's a little spring loaded and that's why there's a little ball on the end because you don't want to accidentally get yourself before it you're ready and this little end cap goes on, so nothing protruding. Cleanliness is important. You do not want to get an infection from something stupid like a finger prick. Take the little device. Oh, actually, I should have shaken some blood down into my hand. That's what they tell you to do. And you do that, and it, it doesn't really hurt. It's... Very minimal, so don't get freaked out. Okay, so yes, I have blood. I swear I'm human. There we go. So just hold that little drop of blood up there. It's counting down, so that means it's got enough blood to make a reading. And this one will be that one beeps. So what we have here are my readings while we're waiting for the ketone one to come up and yeah that that little wound goes away in no time so it's showing my blood ketones are 1.6 and that my glucose is 93 uh, from what I've read this is a very good ketone level for somebody who's trying to be in ketosis so I'm good there um, the glucometer is under 100 from what I've read that's that's good so got to do some more reading on that one because I want to verify that um, and that's it let's turn this thing back up here so just one of those weird little things that you do in this diet if you're really serious about it I'm really serious about it so it's important to me that I don't waste my time doing something that's not actually accomplishing what it needs to. And sometimes the scale isn't the best way to measure that success. Blood levels on both of these tell me what I need to know. Science! Okay, so until I see you next time, have a great Valentine's Day!